Sunday, not just any Sunday, but Super Bowl Sunday. And thank you for joining. This is Smell It Sunday. It's incredibly too bright. There we go. That's actually not that bad. Um, I will have to fix the lighting, but welcome to Smell It Sunday. This is a segment where we talk about candles. We talk about uh, recent topics in uh, the candle industry, but anything aromatic, that's what's really important. It doesn't really just have to be about candles. I look like a ghost, so I'm going to fix the lighting while you listen to this semi-ominous music. How's that? How's that? That looks that looks a lot better. I wanted the Edison bulb, but maybe we'll we'll do without it today. So how's everybody doing? I want to pull you guys up right here so I can see your comments. That is always the priority. All right, and you'll notice that we are on uh, our second channel. Aromatically speaking today, which is uh, it's good because I said I was going to switch over and uh, the past couple times I have been on the main channel, but I thought that this would be a little bit more of a laid back Sunday. So uh, we're, we're, we're on we're on aromatically speaking. So who do, who do we have with us? We have Nancy. We have Angie Clementine. We got Rachel. Trisha is in the house. Carol, we have Eric, Chris, and Nicole. Uh, thank you for all of you guys uh, joining in. Again, uh, I understand that this is almost a national holiday, um, uh, uh, the Super Bowl Sunday. So um, I do have a few things to show you. I have a few things to announce. You'll notice that the headline of this video does contain the word giveaway, and that's not a bluff. Uh, another thing I want to do, because you see see how I, I look at the comments and it looks like I'm completely not looking at you guys? I'm going to put a little sticker, a little sticker by um, where you guys are. So I can keep an eye looking right at you. I want to look right at you. I don't want to look past you. This will remind me to look right there see it's a little bit better okay so why is the office black that's a good question to start off with uh, I am right in the middle of setting up for doing several videos I'm finally getting around to which city Wix I mean we're talking like a full two three weeks behind here but been very busy been very busy uh, the, this past month but I got a lot of downtime now. It's well, not downtime, but time to actually focus on producing videos, filming, 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 and also editing as well. Um, January has been really filled up with getting things ready for the future. So hello, hello, uh, black. No, I don't. I don't just dress my my office in black. See, I even have the. I even have the fog machine set up again. I think. Oh yeah. It's not a good fog machine. Apparently not. But it will get the job done. Yes, you, you gotta you gotta do something a little spooky when you're doing Witch City Wicks candles. Uh, and I have a lot to do because it's not just Christmas candles. That we're talking about we have a lot of um a lot of classics that are on her lineup liz's lineup and if you don't know which city wix is if you don't know who they are make sure uh you check their website that being whichcitywix.com or stop off on their instagram account say hello tell them i sent you that's always a fun thing and a nice thing to do 
All right, so the big question is, what do we start off with? Well, for folks joining us for the first time, this is my second channel. It's called Aromatically Speaking, but my main channel is called The Candle Enthusiast. So that's where you're gonna wanna subscribe. Go there, hit subscribe, come here, also subscribe. But uh, I want to do a giveaway, and I don't wanna wait too long into the video because I don't want uh, people to disappear. Uh, we haven't done a giveaway in a long time, and uh, being that it's Valentine's Day, and that this thing, I don't know, I think it's it's pretty scarce, right? This is the, the, tr the, the tri-layered Valentine's Day candle that comes in this lipped jar, kind of like the, the Kringle-style jar. Uh, it's going to be 10 ounces. Anyone have a guess what the, the trio fragrances are? Um... I'm just going to tell you, buttercream, red velvet, and chocolate layer cake. Ve very interesting. That's, you know, that chocolate layer cake is super powerful. That red velvet cake is one of my favorite. And buttercream, well, that just goes good with anything. So what, how, how do you participate in this? Let's get this out of the way right from the beginning. What we're going to do is all you have to do is find someone, someone, a friend, somebody, in your family, someone who you work with, someone who might be interested in the candle enthusiast, right? And you introduce them to the show. Tell them to go to youtube.com slash the candle enthusiast and subscribe and comment on my last video. That last video that was super short when I was at uh, South Deerfield, Massachusetts, just have them say, I just subscribed and so-and-so sent me. This way I'll know you sent someone along, they sub subscribed, and you'll automatically be uh, uh, in uh, in the running to pick up this candle. I will cause, uh, I will cover all uh, shipping uh, cost, and of course, it's not going to just be this candle. I always throw in extras, a lot of fun stuff. So make sure you do that. I'm going to announce the winner. Maybe Wednesday and maybe Sunday. You don't know. So the sooner the better. That's how you're going to participate. And I'm going to say this again, maybe two or three more times throughout the course of this live, just in case we do have new people or someone's coming in late. I don't want them to be lost because if they see that word giveaway, they get all excited. And then if I'm not talking about a giveaway, they get all frustrated. All right. Coffee time. Da, da, da. All right. So, um... We have today, uh, look at this, Great Escape Lake George Amusement Park Mug. I have not used this one in uh, a long time. So, uh, can't wait to uh, break this out. It's really thick, so I should hold in the heat pretty well. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So what do you guys have planned for Super Bowl Sunday? Why don't you give me a little bit of that? And then I'll start breaking out these Yankee Candle relics that I'm talking about. Thermos. Yes, Stanley Thermos. Um, it's an oldie, but a goodie. I'm telling you, this is, this is the way to go. Uh, you don't need anything fancy. You don't need anything that hooks up to your cell phone to keep it warm. Uh, this sleek style of uh, Stanley Thermos, 16 ounces, keep your coffee hot for about six hours, warm for about 12 hours, and it fits perfectly in my backpack. Monica Carlson is in the house. New setup. It's not really a new setup. It's just I'm getting prepared. I'm getting ready for... A uh, little filming session that I'm doing later today. Da, da, da. Puppy bowl. I'm going up against the puppy bowl. Da, da, da. Monica, what? Monica, what are you guys doing for Super Bowl Sunday? Monica is my sister-in-law. Just in case, just in case you don't know. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. This 
You see why this is in a bag? I'll tell you why this is in a bag. This is in a bag because I couldn't take it out because it's so incredibly strong smelling. It's uh, very intense, and it's not just this little thing here. It's this whole little contraption. It's wrapped several times in bubble wrap, and I can still smell it. This is for a future evaluation, but I do want to share it with you. Got scissors. Got to be safe with these scissors. Very sharp. <laughs> watching at my parents, watching the guys freaking out is awesome. But last year, I was worried my dad was going to have a heart attack. You know what? I have to admit, you know, my favorite thing about Super Bowl has always been the food. You know, the game. I, 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 I've never... Look, look. It's possible, and, and this is the co complete truth. I love baseball. I, I played baseball for many years in my youth, but um, I want you guys to think that I am um, uh, an, an athlete by any stretch of the imagination, but I did play baseball in my youth. Football is just one of those games I never even learned how to play. It was never in my house. We never watched it in my house. Um, you know, I I wouldn't go over to family's house or friend's house and watch football. Even through college, you know, it just, uh, it's just one of those things. So, like, when I watch football, I sometimes don't know what's happening. I mean, I pretty much got it for the most part. But uh, I'm really, really not a football person. Not that I dislike it, because I kind of like the idea of being out in this, you know, uh, really cold weather watching a game. I mean, that does sound fun, but... And nobody fighting over the Patriots or the Eagles. I don't want to see any of that. Look at this. It's wrapped so many times. All right, I got to focus on what I'm doing here. How's the lighting? Is that... See, that, that's ridiculous. But what if I move it over here? Like here. Nah, it's too bright. It's too bright. All right. Um, and this is, of course, the first time I'm seeing it because, as you can see, I just took it out of its package. This is, I want to find a year. There's no year, but I can narrow it down for you. This would be between 1983... 1983 to 1987. This is a product by Yankee Candle. Um, and it's called Shamrock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can we see? I know it's a little soft focus there. These are actual taper candles. Um, I showed you pillar candles that are in my collection, but these are tapered candles a uh, little string in between, but but they're not just green. They're highly, highly aromatic. Wow. Um, and this is 100% sealed, too. I thought maybe this would have been ripped open because I was smelling it so much. Oh, and there's something written on the back side of the label. So this is going to be uh, for this year's St. Patrick's Day uh, evaluation session. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna go or where, where I'm gonna be, where I'm gonna take you guys. Last year I was at South Deerfield. I don't think we'll do that again, but this will be something that I will be evaluating and I'm not gonna just like scratch and sniff. I actually am go. I, I say the word actually a lot. I, I apologize. I actually am going to open this up and do a little aroma prison action. Gonna melt some of the wax inside of a completely clean and sterilized uh, mason jar or some kind of airtight jar. Let that uh, uh, fragrance oil volatize and smell this candle. Um, I just tell you right off, right off the bat here. I don't want to get into this because it'll ruin the evaluation. 
but this is somewhere in between Lucky Shamrock and, uh, you know, I want to say, I want to say, I don't want to say it, but I do want to say it. Um, uh, what was the man candle? The, the lawnmower one? Um, it, it's very grassy. It's not as... It's, you know what it is? It's the soapiness. It's the soapiness. This is bringing a lot of that soap aisle from the grocery store to it. But it's not just that. Oh, God, what is that? Oh, there's a note there that I know it. I know that. I know that smell. And it's going to drive me nuts. So let me read it and while I try to figure out Shamrock. Tis the luck of the Irish to be having their own candle for St. Patrick's Day. These Shamrock candles are handcrafted by Yankee Candle Company, South Deerfield, Massachusetts. So yeah, that's, that's another interesting point. These probably would have possibly been made by Michael Kittrich's actual uh, candle machine, you know, the, the tapered candle machine where you dip all the candles and you lift and, and you repeat. Uh, that's on display at the, the village. So very, very interesting part of Yankee Candle's history right there. And this is just in such great shape. All right. So that's one. That's one thing. What are you guys saying over here? New England. So for me, the only, the only thing I can relate to with the Super Bowl is that... Anyone from New England will probably know what I'm talking about. Listen in. Spooky World, America's Horror Theme Park. America's... America's... Is that all it was? America's Horror Theme Park? Yeah, that was the jingle. America's Horror Theme Park. Spooky World. It was originally in Berlin, Massachusetts uh, in its heyday, and then eventually moved to Foxborough, Massachusetts, and it was just was right outside the the old stadium um, and by the time it got to Foxborough it wasn't it wasn't a great experience but it was there for several years so that you know I spent a lot of time there and I was surrounded uh, by uh, lots of Patriots fans very passionate very passionate let's put it that way and I still never officially have been in Philadelphia I've driven through, but I haven't, like, parked the car and gotten out. Uh, Rachel says, I've been to Spooky World in Berlin, met Tiny Tim. I saw, I don't think I met Tiny Tim, but I saw Tiny Tim perform. Um, that would have been around, like, 19, 1996, 1995. Uh, I, I, I met Elvira, Mistress of the Dark there. I met Kane Hodder, uh, the, the gentleman who played uh, Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th films from, from uh, I believe it was like 7 till 52, however many they made. I saw Linda Blair from The Exorcist at Spooky World. It was, it was an amazing thing. In your YouTube bio, you have last year's Sparkling Flame listed and Cinnamon Cedar. Yes. Um, so, Richard, can you help me out? Are you, uh, are you, are you in the United States? Or are you, are you abroad? Can you tell me? Uh, if you don't mind, that is because. I haven't really, I, I never really collected uh, United Kingdom candles, uh, but I did hear, I, I kind of put two and two together uh, because they're, they were, I think they're going to be available on, on QVC again in the UK, which usually means that they're coming to the United States. So I think at some point 
This is just my guess that they're going to be repackaged and released in the United States. Oh, Linda Blair is the sweetest, honestly, the sweetest woman you'll ever meet. And, oh man, I think I might be able to get it. Keen Otter's autograph. Richard Martin's, your, your channel makes me happy. Okay, so Richard, you're in the UK. Okay, yeah, so um, when they were on QVC, they were promoted as United States exclusives. I could be wrong about this, but I, there was something that I saw a while back, because if you look at my, uh, my uh, Instagram post, I said that those two were coming to the United States. There was something that triggered me to say that. And Spooky Villages says, I have gotten to see the Dragula, Grandpa Munster's car. That is super cool. All right, you guys are talking about the exorcist. Give me a quick moment. I'm not going to get something so scary. It's not going to scare you. It's going to amaze you. So much stuff. Guitar probably broke in the process, but I got it. All right. And Eric, my brother, if you're watching, uh, I have your Dolores painting here, um, just in case you're looking for it. Dun, 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 dun. All right, this is very old. I mean, this is like this. I, I probably got this God, when I was in like middle school. Let me take it out so we can get a close look. So I brought an, a, uh, a Ouija, board, Ouija board to have Linda Blair sign. That's how dorky I was when I was a kid. But she signed it. And I've had it just tucked away in the office. For, for a long time. And this is actually the first time I've ever taken it out of the frame. But it says right there, can you see that? To Shane, wishing you love and peace. Linda Blair, look at that. Okay, that, that, come on, come on. If you're an Exorcist fan, and this is not like one of those glow-in-the-dark ones by the Parker, it is by Parker Brothers, but at least it looks like a real one. It doesn't glow in the dark or anything like that. We'll put that right back there. You know, maybe I'll leave that out for the Witch City Wicks segment. Cherry Pie from Germany. Sorry, I'm late. Don't be sorry. Um. Oh, God. Uh, spooky villages. Oh, Eric. Uh, Eric Peter Carlson uh, is in the house, and he says, I forgot about the Dolores painting. Well, I have it right here. I, you know, I don't want to talk about uh, too many sad topics, uh, especially because, you know, I had a little bit of time. It's been months now. Um... Uh, when Tom Petty passed away, it was it really crushed me. I mean, really crushed me. It still hurts me uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. It was just, it was just, you know. I think everybody has that one artist, that one musician, that just that one icon that is stitched in every chapter of your life. And for me, it was Tom Petty, and uh, and his music was sort of the soundtrack to my life, even though that's a very, very um, popular saying, it, it was true. And this is uh, Dolores Arordian from uh, the Cranberries. And I would say t for my brother, at least, you know, in his teens, his 20s, uh, and of, of course, uh, up until current day, 
um, it was just his his favorite band, you know. It's just nostalgia, you know. And I was listening to those albums um, when I was on the road a couple days ago. I listened to just about all of them, and man, that's just some of that stuff is timeless music. And if you don't know why I'm talking about the Cranberries, uh, Dolores did just pass away um, not too long ago, which very 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 upsetting. Um, you know, it's one of these things, it's like, you know, uh, these things happen too close together. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I wish she had a little bit more time to prepare uh, t t for saying goodbye to, to these icons that have enhanced your life. Da, da, da. Richard says, please, will you take one candle off the shelf at the back and smell it? Any Yankee candle jar, random choice. All right, so this really was a random choice. Okay, so it's chocolate, obviously. It can't be chocolate layer cake. We can eliminate that. Whoopie pie? Whoopie pie, maybe? No, it's not whoopie pie. Um, I would say maybe chocolate truffle only. I don't have that one anymore. Uh, but here's the thing. If you've seen my review on this candle, and I swear I, I really haven't looked at this candle. Um, I can. There's one thing that stands out for me, and how I, I can tell is that there's a, a, this definitive milk aroma. And so much so that some people, some people could take it in a, in a direction where they're unattracted to it. Almost like sour milk. Uh, but if you really think about Hershey's chocolates, I have to give somebody credit. Somebody credit uh, who posted this comment on the video where I, I uh, reviewed or evaluated this candle said, it's supposed to smell that way. And if I think about Hershey kiss Kisses, if I think about Hershey's chocolate, um, I definitely get it. There's that, that kind of sour milk thing. And this could only be, what's the name of it though? Chocolate bunnies? Chocolate bunnies. Bam. Bam. Um, this was a 2000... It's a 2017 because um, I, I, I got it last year. But this was initially released a while back. 15? 14? That's not a while back, but you know what I mean. Da, da. Yogurt, yes. So I said yogurt in my description. You know, I, I, I usually can find the positive side to any anything I, I when I smell a candle, I'm kind of turned off. I'll find something, a way to bend it to turn it into a positive. And if you watch that review, I actually called Yankee Candle on the phone while I was uh, recording myself. And I had uh, the associate smell the candle along with me. And she agreed that she smelled this Greek yogurt, sour milk kind of thing. Really interesting. Uh, so, Re Rebe where is, there she is. Rebecca's in the house. I keep saying, I keep saying hi, Rebecca, but I, I can't, I can't see Rebecca. Uh, Angie said, you said it smelled like dirt. Well, yeah, because, okay, if I, if I may pick on it a little bit, uh, the funkiness of, you know, say, not, let's not use the word funk. Let's say the smell of yogurt or, or, or slightly sour milk, right? A little bit of that malic acid conversion bacteria thing going on, um, uh, was reminding me of not so much dirt, but manure or topsoil. 
I shouldn't say manure. That's not what I meant. I meant topsoil, but it has the funkiness of the topsoil. You know, when you're, uh, and if anyone has this, really take it off the shelf and smell it. Because you might think I'm being, like, uh, picking on this candle right now, but I'm not kidding. If you really hone in and try to smell, this smells like, you know, you're you're getting ready to plant the, the tomato and cucumber plants uh, midsummer. It has a little bit of that, that funk, which I'm, I'm all good with that. I'm good. All right, let's pull out another relic. Has this been in the shot? It hasn't been in the shot. This one was a really awesome find. It's uh, not too old. It's from 2002. It's a pillar candle by Yankee Candle. Who knew Yankee Candle made so many pillar candles? I certainly didn't. I always bought them in jars. Um, uh, this is, it says 2002, which is really helpful. Uh, I wish all their merchandise had that, but it's a pillar candle. You see, it's a uh, two-toned. We have the kind of a beige cream white and uh, very dark blood or rose red on the bottom. And this candle is called, can you read that? A la mode. Right? A la mode. Apple pie with vanilla ice cream. Right? I pulled this up because I couldn't remember. It was created in New York. What, what was it? Cambridge, New York. Uh, I, could never, I couldn't remember uh, where th this recipe was actually concocted. And inside... See this little sticker? It looks like it's just dangling there. It's not. It's actually glued to the candle. And you open it up, and inside it has, uh, you know, I guess uh, Yankee Candle's personalized recipe. They're recommending four Macintosh apples, six tablespoons of butter melted, one teaspoon of brown sugar, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon ground, caramel sauce, French vanilla ice cream. And then on the side it says, impress your guests with this delicious and easy dessert. Core apples, place in a baking pan, brush with melted butter, and sprinkle with brown sugar and ground cinnamon. Bake in a preheated oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit until apples are soft, about 35 minutes. Place in dessert bowls, add caramel sauce, and top with scoops of French vanilla ice cream. I wasn't aware that the caramel was a part of the recipe, but I'll totally go with that. So uh, what I'm guessing is this top layer here is gonna be a French vanilla um, f fragrance, uh, probably the classic Yankee Candle French vanilla. And then underneath is uh, this apple pie, you know, apple pie, you know, nice oxidized, cooked down, baked apple with cinnamon, uh, nutmeg, clove, allspice uh, a little bit uh i can't smell it because it's it, it is wrapped i could smell the vanilla but it hopefully has that nice uh bakery crust toasted crust aroma to it so i got i got this one um i'm gonna add that to the collection and you know what was great about this is it came in two sizes i got both very cool very cool. So check, uh, check eBay, check uh, your Facebook. What do they call it? It's kind of like the Craigslist of Facebook um, where you can search for local items. Keep your eyes open for stuff like that. Um, I actually picked that one up this week. Relics. Relics. All right, well, this isn't a relic, but I do have these. I've had these for a while. I might as well get this, too. The thing doesn't want to pump fog anymore. Uh, all right. All right, these are nothing to go crazy about. Uh, but these are Yankee Candle products, and I don't know if you can get a sense of how large 
this is. Uh, I want to get another one to show you, but it's, I mean, even this one is large, and this one is still much bigger. These, uh, I'm guessing in the early 2000s and in the 90s, these shades were made out of ceramic, which is such a great idea. Although the glass may look prettier these days, this is going to hold in the heat way, way, way more than a glass, uh, a glass shade. And, um, man, this one is, it's just massive. Um, Goodwill, guys, Goodwill. I found this, I don't know which, somewhere in New England I found it. I'm sure it wasn't more than $3. And here's another one, uh, another autumn one. Acorns, pumpkins, we've got some leaves, some other decor decorative things. Uh, on the bottom here, actually stamped in the ceramic, there's a price tag on it. It says Yankee Candle Exclusive. And it does have the original retail price on it, $14.99. Um, I got it for $3.19. Uh, another ceramic shade. Um, I hope Yankee Candle maybe brings these back. These work so much better than the glass. So if you don't already have one of these, maybe you should pick one up on eBay. It doesn't have to be made by Yankee Candle, but a ceramic shade because that is going to hold the heat in, giving you a nice even burn, especially for someone like me who, uh, it's always cold. My environment, like even right now, it's it's snowing outside. I have the heat off in the office. I love it being cold, but I also do have the lights on me too. So let's get back to you guys. What are we talking about over here? Spooky Villages says, I was collecting candle shades, but they trap the fragrances so much that I stopped. I do hurricanes now exclusively. I can completely understand that. I, I see that being a problem and is definitely um, something that should be put to the test, as the Mythbusters would say. Um, uh, what was I going to... I actually had something else to say about that. The other thing is they take up... you. They take up so much space, right? And, like, you don't really want to stack them I mean, you can stack them, but do you really want to? Uh, you see the bears. I'll talk about those bears in a little bit. I'm glad you mentioned them, because they're actually something I did want to show you today. Uh, and Spooky Villages says, Always Illuminates. The, the decorative ones look great, but I use the boring pattern ones that have the tiny holes as they work much better. The boring ones like this, because I agree with you, Doug. Um, oh man, where is my... Uh, the ones that are not like uh, bowl shaped. Like here are two examples of Aluma lids. Um, and I use the ones that lay perfectly flat. Um, because uh, they do seem to, to work better. Plus, the more surface area that you have, the more heat is gonna, it's gonna be thrown back onto the candle. Uh, and a little trick, too, about lumilids. This will tell you if you're properly burning your candle. And I could see I wasn't at some point. Uh, because when you're done burning it, take your finger and you wipe it. That's a huge no-no. No, 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 no. Um, that's a lot of soot. Uh, unless I've used this many, many, many times without cleaning it, which I know I haven't. Uh, what that's telling me is that whatever candle I was burning with this last was burning way too hot. Because that's just, that's, that's the fragrance oil. That's, you know, that's, that's what you're spending all the money on. That soot is not a good thing. You never want that black smoke. Da, da, da. Yeah, I like that pumpkin one. That was good. I uh, I think I found that at a semi-annual sale, if you can believe it. Here are uh, some other ceramic items. Yankee Candle. 
Um, don't have a, a time on that or a, a, a date, but you can see by the font, it's really out of focus. But if you look real hard, the font Yankee Candle was not their traditional font that we've known uh, throughout the early uh, 2000s. Um, so this probably is most likely an early 90s piece. Those are kind of cool. Again, Goodwill, Goodwill. Nancy says, maybe you could do a Narnia themed video. Nan uh, Nancy and I, we, we're always on the same page because, uh, and I'm going to get to some of your else's comments too, you, you folks, I'm not going to skip everybody. Um, yeah, one of the, one, one of the ideas I've always had is doing, um, not necessarily a Narnia themed video, but a Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe themed video. I just would love to do it. it just, uh, cinematically, it would be so much fun to try to pull off. And um, for me, reading those opening pages in the line, the witch in the wardrobe, it's just, man, uh, really descriptive and really lets your your mind uh, paint these beautiful portraits. I would love to go to uh, that that little that little nook where that lampshade is or that lamp pole is in Narnia, where Sue discovers. Narnia for the first time in the snow. That's why I love uh, the Snowflake Factory so much at Yankee Candle. So maybe one day, Nancy, we'll get to that. Oh, and I want to pronounce your name right. Mort Violet? Mort Violet? Mort Violet? Or Violet? Whatever it is, your first chat, hello. Uh, don't be sorry that you missed the beginning. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. Uh, we're just, uh, relaxing, showing off some, uh, older Yankee Candle products. And, uh, glad, glad you could join us today, especially on this, this, this big football day. It's all support the channel. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow. And everyone's saying hello. Thank you, everyone, for giving her a nice, warm welcome. Ooh, Jackie Brown says the old uh, Aluma lids were ceramic too. I I don't have one of those. Da, 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 da. So have you guys checked out my eBay page recently? Did you see anything on there that was interesting? They even have. These are all really great comments, guys. I'm sorry that I'm being quiet at the moment, but I'm really trying to take these in. Um, all right, so let's go to the pumpkin. Is really cool. Haunted Hollow. Haunted Hollow. Do I think Haunted Hollow will be back? Oh, and Richard's got another good question too. Uh, Haunted Hollow, I don't think will be coming back. That's my guess. I have nothing to back this up other than um, the response to it was rather uh, you love it or you hate it. I think it there's there's two different there's two different there's many different types of candle people, but I am from the the school of I don't care if it can when I buy a candle, there's a little bit of wax in here. When I buy a candle, you know, I'm not thinking, my priority is not saying, oh man, this is gonna go really well in my living room or in my bedroom, or, you know, this will be great in my foyer, um, or it's, you know, this is really going to in, uh, impress my, my friend Margaret. Um, instead, what I'm thinking of is, how I am selfishly going to enjoy this candle. What story is this candle going to tell me? What mood? What place? What images will be provoked when I burn this candle? So for me, candles don't always have to be this thing that makes your ha house smell pretty. And with Haunted Hollow, um, 
even though I think many of you would be surprised how close this candle is to several Yankee Candle Christmas candles. Um, probably just minus the patchouli. Um, it's, I think people, this is a little bit too realistic for people. It, uh, it's a little bit too dark for people. They can't quite put a pleasant image in their head when they smell this candle. And I've, you know, I, I watched on opening day at Deerfield, people smelling this for the first time. I just sat and I watched right there in front of the display while people were experiencing, experiencing this candle for the first time. And the majority of the people, this is what I saw. I can't stand that, you know? It's very upsetting. But it was just this kind of throwing the head back and like, whoa, what is this? But to me, that's, that's what's fun about candles. You know, I want, I want to smell mysterious things. I want to have things that don't seem typical. You know, I always say this, like imagine, imagine seeing a brand new color for the first time. Well, that's kind of how I think about fragrance. I always want to see, or I always want to smell something that I haven't smelled before. Um, and Haunted Hollow is a, it's a bold, it's a bold candle. So I don't think it's going to come back. If it does come back, great. Uh, I think we will see probably the Happy Halloween return as uh, a returning favorite. Um, if not this year, at the latest last, uh, the year after that. And then Richard Martin here says, Candle Cafe joint video with this channel. Anthony from Candle... Candle Cafe and I, we have been talking since October about a collaboration. You know, uh, first I was going to go to his neck of the woods. Then he was going to come to my neck of the woods. And we were going to go like apple picking and, and try to put together a really cool video uh, doing like apple and pumpkin themed candles. And, the, you know, it just one thing led to another. His schedule, my schedule, it never really worked out. But... Uh, I'm going to shoot Anthony uh, an email very soon, and we're going to do it one way or the other. Uh, we have to figure out a way to collaborate, but I want it to be really fun. And, you know, I um, I told Anthony, I, said, I would want it kind of to be informative. You know, it would be great if we kind of like interviewed each other, not just sit there, sat there and smelled candles, but really kind of threw questions back and forth to see... Uh, give it, give us a chance to see why, uh, for me to ask why he is so passionate about candles and, and what led to him, um, uh, you know, getting into Yankee Candle, buying candles. What is it about his personality that he's driven to fragrance? And, uh, I would love to answer any questions he might have for me as well. So, uh, I think that to me, that would be my favorite thing to do now wait a minute i saw we need to make a candle in the shape of one of rapunzel's t uh, lanterns that'd be cool uh yankee candle does have some uh, lantern shaped candle holders if you don't know eric my brother eric peter carlson huge not only a huge disney fan um because i'm a huge disney fan but his princess is uh, Rapunzel, and it, it's kind of a, an ongoing joke. His princess is Rapunzel. Mine is going to be Belle. Um, I always say Belle is my favorite princess. Um, but uh, whenever we go to Disneyland, we kind of... Well, he does it all the time because he was there. He goes and interviews them, and he's got his own channel where he does this. But when I go with him, uh, I bashfully go up to the Belle or any of the princesses and talk to them. But that would be cool, you know, if anyone's seen the film Tangled. The little, the little lanterns that float in the sky. Man, it's hard to keep up with what's going on. I... Okay, so Eric, I think you're talking about Haunted Hollow. I agree with Shane, but I absolutely hoarded it, though. 
do do you ship to UK? Says Richard. Do, is that me? Like me personally? Oh, uh, and to my eBay, my eBay. You know, if you just type in, you know, um, it's I, you can get a personalized uh, uh, e eBay URL. But it's really confusing, and people have tell, told me that it doesn't work. It makes me weird. I don't know if some browsers just can't figure it out. Magic. So that's the link um, for my eBay. Go there and just hit follow. Hit follow this way because this way you'll be notified every time I put something up because I'm always putting things up uh, at, at random. I don't want to always be going to the fan page on Facebook and saying, oh, I got this for sale. Oh, I got this for sale. I don't want to be bothering you guys like that. But I don't certainly don't want you to miss out on some things that you could certainly uh, love to uh, get your hands on. Da, 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 da. I don't like strong whiffs of Haunted Hollow, says Carol, but it is beautiful when its scent is softly dispersed, I think. Awesome. I think that is very eloquently put. I, I, I probably would agree, you know? It's, it's one of those candles where you want it to be this kind of subconscious linger, right? You don't want to walk in and have it bog down on you. Um, so large living space, keep, keep that wick really low, really low, right? Lower than what you'd use, uh, lower than what you, you trim your paraffin candles with. Um, because these, this wax, the, the, whatever the blend is that they're using, um, it, it melts super quick and it releases the oils very fast. So um, you really only want this tiny little flame. Now, if you have other methods, that's great, but that's just how I burn uh, Yankee soy candles and really any soy candle. Very small, very small flames. Spooky villages uh, love to visit a haunted house. Well, you, n you name the place. I'll see if I can get there. Shane's Yankee collection. I'm trying to put, trying to get that video together, but a part of me is saying, like, what if we... Oh, uh, don't even talk about Larry Kirshner. <laughs> oh, my God. Eric, do you hear... Is my brother's still in the chat room? Oh, 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 because we've... Okay, Doug, we've talked about Larry Kirshner. Okay, okay, okay. I thought that that was... That's just funny. It's weird to hear these names again. Uh, one thing my brother did... Also, in his life, he's done many things. Uh, he had a haunted attractions in Salem, Massachusetts. How cool is that? Uh, so he was actually in the haunted house industry. Yes, there is such a thing. And this was before it was, like, as big as it is today. This was back, you know, early on. Uh, and, um, you know, people like Larry Kirshner, Kevin McCurdy, all these people were big names in the industry. All right, Deerfield Bear. All right. Da -da. Some people, some men, I should say, fix up cars. Some guys go skiing. Some guys collect shotguns. Some guys watch football. But I'll tell you what kind of guy I am. I buy teddy bears every so often. Why? Because Yankee Candle makes these exclusive, adorable Yankee Candles. And come on, when, it, when, it, when you boil it all down, why do we enjoy Yankee Candle? It's because it brings us back to our youth. It, you know, lets us just, you know, go back and be a kid again, enjoy all of the pleasures, the simple pleasures of being a child. 
uh, and then maybe reliving those special experiences with our own children or the next generation. So Yankee Candle at Deerfield has released exclusive teddy bears in the past. Now they don't release them every year, um, but uh, this is the brand new bear for this year. I think I've shown this to you before. It says Yankee, uh, Yankee Candle right there on his foot and it's got the new font. He's more slender. He's got a little bit, yes, definitely has that Michael Jackson thriller thing going on or the James Dean Rebel Without a Cause, but it's actually a hoodie, but very modern. You know, he's, 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 he's really, he's, he's up on uh, the trendy wardrobes. I like it. Um, very, 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 very soft bear. And why I'm saying slender, he's slender, is because you'll see the other bears are a little bit more of a classic teddy bear style. $12.99, only available at Deerfield, the flagship store. Now, that was 2017. Um, do, 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 2017. And then was this 2000... 2000, I gotta figure this out, 2017. So this would have been 2015 and 2016. They had this for two years. No, 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 no. This would have been just 2016, I apologize. Um, and here it is, he's wearing a pea coat this time and we have the classic Yankee Candle logo there on the foot. Also $12.99, he's got a hood again. Peacoat, right? That's that's a little bit more my style. I love peacoats. I wear my father's peacoat when he was from when he was in the Navy. Uh, that thing keeps you warm in any kind of weather. So there that guy is. There there that guy is. I'm really good at speaking today. Uh, so 2016, these come ar out around uh, the holiday season. Now, in 2015, 2014, they had the same bear. I don't know if they just ordered too many. I think that's probably what happened. Uh, but uh, this time around, we have a uh, flannel. He's wearing the flannel. He's got the logo on the foot. He's got the hood once again, once again. Uh, this one's pretty cool. I, honestly, out of all of them, this one, you know, you don't want to, like, uh, don't, don't, don't think I'm creepy. But, uh, you know, stuffed animals just have that right weight, and they just feel good. You just want to, like, flop, like, plop that right there on the couch. Um, uh, you know, it's like, it's got a little bit of weight in the, in the behind, so it sits up straight. Uh, very, very cool. I, I, I love this. These just sit on my shelves all year round. But then, before 2015, there, were not, there wasn't a bear. 2014, there was not a bear. 2013, no bear. 2012, a lot of people who were collectors of these bears don't know this, but there was a bear in 2012, and here he is. Look at this guy. He looks, he actually looks like an old he looks like he should be sitting next to Winnie the Pooh, you know, like he looks like he's an old teddy bear that's like 60 years old on his foot. He's got the logo. Very, very pointy feet Has this uh, very minimalistic sweater with I guess that's a snowflake. Uh, unfortunately, this guy does not have a tag, but what was interesting about this bear that this was actually produced by Yankee Candle, where as the rest of these bears were obviously uh, produced by uh, other companies. Now, I don't know how that means that it was produced by Yankee Candle, but like the tag says, like the tag tag, it says Yankee Candle, um, South Deerfield, Massachusetts, uh, but it was made in China. Yankeecandle.com. Recommended for children ages three and older and older. So those are the Yankee Candle teddy bears, but I do have one more. I do have one more. Wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if Yankee Candle had not just a Christmas bear 
but a Halloween bear. Halloween. Why wouldn't they do that? Well, they did. He's super small. But uh, this guy, uh, I can't... Uh, Yes, I can. I can give you an age. This is um, uh, from 2005. Uh, he's got a little uh, orange bow that's got little bear footprints on it. A little orange button nose. And uh, very, very, almost like a black cat. A black cat fur, right? It's actually kind of prickly. But really cool. I, um, and he has he like he has joints you see that like you can actually like pose him and put him like sit him on a, a candle or something i don't know um but very cool and on there on the foot you see that yankee candle yankee candle um i know they're just teddy bears but come on come on fun to collect those um so before we talk about the kringle candle that you may or may not know um i've been i i was absent kind of this week uh because i had a lot of moving around to do uh but for good reason uh eric if you're still here had challenged me he's still here um he said Okay, you found Kringle Candles, which is Cauldron. And I said, this is the most scarce, the hardest to find, the rarest Kringle Candle of all time. And I told, I, I said to you guys, challenge me here. What would be harder to find? And Eric, what did you say? Eric said, I'll let him answer that. Shane listing, Shane listing my Wolfsbane candle right after I shell out 3000 for dental work. Oh no. And you still have a bit up. Yes. So, um, all right. I just said I wasn't going to show you right now, but I, I guess I will. Um, in 2014, Kringle Candle had a collection, a Halloween collection of four fragrances. Kringle Corn, which was candy corn. We had uh, Fright Night, Witch's Cauldron, and Wolf's Bane. And although the, the, I think everyone's favorite was going to be Witch's Cauldron, uh, the Wolf's Bane arguably is the hardest one to find. Uh, this was, yeah, this took me, this took me a, a, a little bit more effort to get my hands on a few of these candles but there it is and this is a monstrously powerful intense candle it's not going to be for everybody but it's just again just like haunted hollow it's one of those things where it's 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 an oddball it's weird it's out there it's not for everybody but it kind of intrigues you it grows on you you want to have it in your collection you know it just you can't, even if, if you don't buy it Right, you know, if you pick it up off the shelf and it's like, ah, oh, I don't like it, and you leave it there, you're gonna, you're gonna go home, and you're gonna think about, ah, oh, I should have picked up that candle because it was so weird and it intrigues me. It happens to me all of the time. Uh, this is kind of one of those candles because it is deeply, deeply musky. Oh man, I'm talking about masculine musky all the way. You know, we're talking a little bit like Old Spice musky here, um, but don't. Don't just think this smells like Old Spice. I'm just, I'm just giving you the musky element because there's gonna be a huge uh, uh, complement of floral, floral musk as well. So we really have like kind of two muskiness, two muskiness, two muskinesses, uh, two different forms of musk working together. Um, uh, more of that kind of like Old Spice, spicy, leathery, masculine musk. And that floral musk. Oh, man. And Wolfsbane, if we don't know, does anyone have some information they can divulge on um, uh, Wolfsbane? Like the actual 
um, flour. Um, I'm really not too educated on Wolfsbane, uh, but it is a real thing. It's just uh, very, very powerful. What are my notes? I wrote it in the eBay description, and I liked what I wrote. I want to read them for you now. So the collection of four was retired in um, 2014. I found Fright Night. Then I finally found Witch's Cauldron. Now, I had these. I purchased them in 2014. But I produced a couple videos on them that sparked a lot of people's interest. And then people wanted to get their hands on them. And uh, they were gone. Uh, there was some rumors of them coming back. Uh, I've heard straight from the source that at least uh, within the coming years, it's, that's not the case. There's always a possibility something can come back. Um, uh, the rumor was that they were going to come back in black, black wax. Oh, and, and Eric, I even gave you a shout out in the eBay description. Do you see that? Not Eric Carlson, but Eric. I said deeply musky, masculine, and feminine. Yes, because the, the, the floral muskiness is, uh, you know, I would say that's it's subjective, but feminine for me. Of the forest, and when I say of the forest, I don't mean like dirt, earth. I mean one of those herbal sage, um, uh, uh, herbal garden kind of thing. A tea tree oil. Very pungent herbs. Herbaceousness. Including sweet florals and rich soil. Smoldering bonfire, definitely it's got that smokiness of Witch's Brew, just not, or excuse me, Witch's Cauldron, just certainly not as much. It's way, way uh, uh, in the far in the background. With a tantalizing, unmistakable, spellbinding aroma of magic. I was just having a little bit of fun there, but it does, it kind of smells. Like you just walked into like a magic shop or you walked into, it does. You know, uh, I don't want to say like a new age shop, but, um, you know, uh, I spent a lot of time in New Pulse, New Pulse, New York. Um, or you can think of like Woodstock, New York, where they have these, um, you know, kind of try to keep the 60s alive. So they have a lot of incense burning, a lot of fragrances. They're just lingering around in this town. And this smells like you're just wandering around in those storefronts, um, especially like a magic shop or like a fortune teller's parlor, um, which is a really, really nice uh, association to have when you're burning this. Uh, to me, this is, you know, there's, there's no, there's uh, n nothing else I can think of. When, when I smell this, I'm thinking of Lon Chaney as the Wolfman from the classic universal horror film, The Wolfman. Um, it's got a little bit of magic. It's got that beastly muskiness um, and uh, a little bit of that uh, soft floral uh, that keeps it magical and what I call spellbinding. Let's get back to you guys. So if you want to look up on eBay, I don't have a lot of these folks and I'm going to pull the plug on them soon because I want to have at least like a like two for Halloween, right? I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of them all right now. So if you want it, you need it. You're gonna regret not having it. Um, be patient. Look on eBay. I'm um, I'm doing buy it nows, and I'm starting them at uh, ninety nine cents. So you never know. You never know. You could walk away with this for maybe twenty. Nine bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. And know that it all goes back to the show. And uh, we're racking together some a good sum of money. So we're going to be doing some fun, fun adventures in the near future. Let me tell you, it's going to be good to get out back on the road and not just be focusing on holiday content. Shipping fees are the worst, Rebecca. They really are. Um, USPS, um, you know, you, you got to support USPS. Um, but to ship this to Rebecca, 
Probably like, what, $13? Good chance it'll break, too. Uh, so, you know, I always go for the safe bet and, and, and get a little bit of a bigger package and wrap it a little bit more, which always ends up costing me a little bit more money. But um, so far, so good. I've only had one candle, two candles now, two candles break on me. And the entire time we've been uh, doing subscription boxes and eBay sales. Spooky Villages. You can tell Doug's all about these. All are legit Halloween fragrances. Um, so you're probably asking too, like, why don't I get the Kringle corn jar? I don't even have one myself. I, I mean, I did. I burned it years ago. Um, it smells like candy corn. You know, it was, I think, more powerful than Yankee Candles candy corn. Um, but I think the Wolfsbane, the Witch's Cauldron, and the Fright Night kind of they belong together but if you really interested in the kringle corn i can track it down for you i can find it just shout out send me an email let me know and uh uh i'll try to pick it up uh, i'll try to find it and then pick it up Yes, Eric, so uh, there will be more Wolf Spain later if you can't swing it uh, this time. Yes, because like I said, I'm going to pull the plug on them soon. Um, within the first day, uh, we had several sales, which is awesome. It's just really awesome because, you know, uh, this time of year, we really need the funding for the show so we can do stuff. Um, Christmas really beat me up with the the travel expenses but we're in really good shape now with those sales but i don't want to sell them all now i want to wait till we're all in the, the halloween spirit uh richard says do you ship to uk from ebay yes i will do ebay uh but it's not going to be economical it's just it's a it's a pain for me it's a pain for you the, the what we have to go through to get something that is so small from here to there uh, what I do is, because it's going over the seas, if it's going to, uh, um, you know, across the Atlantic, let's say, um, I am going to put this not in a small box. I, I'm going to put it in a bigger box because the last thing I want to do is lose the item and lose uh, the sale too. Because I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay you back, right? Uh, so I don't want to be having that. So what we, what I do is I put them in medium rate USPS boxes, international, but it ends up costing a little bit more. So my recommendation is buy a couple candles, buy two candles, buy three candles if you want me to ship to uh, the UK. So uh, the, the eBay international shipping program uh, does not work for some items. Now, I could kind of break the rules a little bit with that, um, but it, uh, candles, uh, does not, it, do, it doesn't work for that. I would certainly do the, the shipping program, but that's still going to cost, it's still going to cost Richard that, that money too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I think it's probably because it's glass. Um, probably because it's, uh, you know, how they say that post office is this, so it's, uh, it's perfume. It's not really perfume, but it's candle. It's not really liquid, but it's wax. So I think eBay really restricts the whole idea of candles going across. All right. So Wolf Spain. That was that was that was my journey of this week. I'm so happy I pulled that off. Um, and uh, any of you who've won one or will win one there's some up on ebay right now please come back to me with some feedback if you burn it that's the question do you burn it or do you not do you do it or do you not richard says i want to support the channel and eric stepping up to say patreon yes uh, patreon is a way where uh you can support uh not me the channel the our our trips our adventures um 
Of course, candles cost money uh, to evaluate, but you know, I go to Yankee Candle, I evaluate them there, so I save money that way. And then sometimes I buy candles and, and I'll sell them. Um, so, you know, I, I'm trying to be very frugal when it comes to the candles themselves, but when it comes to gas, lodging, uh, price of admission to places that we go, um, this, that, you know, Patreon's a great way you can support the channel, whether it be 50 cents, can't do 50 cents, unfortunately, because they only allow a minimum of a dollar, but a dollar from everybody, what, if everyone just gave one dollar, I'm not asking you to. I'm not asking you to, but if everyone gave one dollar, we would be twice, twice our goal. So, uh, Richard, if, if you are interested in the link of all of my videos, except for this one, because I haven't finished it yet, is going to be a link to Patreon, and you can see how that all works. And um, you don't see it right now. I'm going to show you this. So you see on the screen, oh, it's not going to work, is it? Okay, so usually, this is where you type in your message. I know it's completely blown out for you guys, but there's usually on my main channel a little dollar sign that's right there next to the, the smiley face, right underneath where you type in your message. And what that is, is a super chat. Uh, I'm trying to think of ways where we can utilize Super Chat uh, for fun. This way, people really can just like throw in a quarter, quarter, a dime, a nickel, and uh, and we could do fun things. Uh, somebody mentioned, I think it was Nicole, about Wine Wednesday. And I thought like, wow, Wine Wednesday. You know, I, I come from a, a wine background. And I'm like, it would be great to actually focus on wine um, sometimes. You know, maybe do like once a month we do a flight of wine. And, and then it suddenly came to me, I'm like, wait a minute. Let's not focus on like expensive wines because let's face it, you know, you know, it's like we don't want to be spending a lot of money on wine, especially us candle buyers. We want to spend our money on candles. So I thought what it would do is say for a first episode, at between a $10 to a $20 bottle of very popular red wine. Ones that we see in every wine shop that we go to, but make sure that each one's from a different country, each one is a different grape, and um, we could do fun things uh, like um, different climates, different years, and I can not literally blindfold myself, but do a blind tasting put the, 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 the bottles in a bag and I can taste them and I can give you my opinion, break them down, give you my thoughts, but give me my opinion of what I think is the best value. Let's say, you know, you find one that's pretty good for 17, but one that's just as good, but it's $9. So you see what I'm saying? We'll find, pick out wines that I think are good values. Costco, Costco wines. Exactly. I was thinking more of like Menage a Trois, um, was it Apothic Red, uh, name, names like this, like Behringer's standard go-to, Hess's standard go-to uh, red wine. Um, and, um, but, but again, I want to, want to, if I'm going to do this, I want to force you to think outside of the United States. Get some garnacha from Spain, you know, we'll get some Malbec from Argentina and Mendoza. Uh, and then we can do a whole episode on whites, then we could do sparkling wines, we could do even bottled water. I know that sounds crazy, but I used to do blind tastings on bottled water all of the time. Um, Alamos, yes, Angie, Alamos is probably the most popular go-to Malbec um, um, uh, red wine that there is. I mean, it's just, I mean, every place will have it. So that's good. Everyone will be able to find them. So if, oh, and yeah, and then Nancy's saying, Aus, uh, you know, uh, Australia. So if we want to do like, uh, we could do Shiraz from Australia. I thought you put Austria for a second. Uh, Shiraz would be another good one because you can find fantastic, not Syrah, Shiraz from uh, Australia for really good values these days. 
Richard Martin, did Yankee Candle send you your parcel? They sent it. They said they did. I haven't received it yet. Um, I was really hoping to actually have it for today so we could open it up live. So I will no doubt probably have it this next weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but um, so I'll rather open it up next weekend on Smell It Sunday or we'll have a spontaneous live throughout the week. So what I was saying about the Super Chats, what we could do is, on the live, we can be, you know, if everyone chips in like a dollar or something, right, we can, if we can get like 30 bucks, I can go out, buy some, you know, three $10 bottles of wine, and then we have a Wine Wednesday. If we can raise $30 a month, I think we could do that. We can have a, a Wine Wednesday. Did my Yankee Candle... Candle power tweet make me happy? That's a loaded question there, Richard. Uh, I've been asking uh, Yankee Candle for a long time. I mean, there's no question that uh, they know who we are and that they, they support what I'm doing and they're very, very kind folks. But um, I think we all knew that by tweeting a link to one of my videos, that wasn't going to give me much exposure. Uh, whereas if they, you know, shared a video on their Facebook page, which for one has many more people and it's going to be, you know, the video is going to be in pe people's faces. Uh, or at the very least, uh, liking it on YouTube. They have their own YouTube channel. Uh, if you go into Yankee Candle's YouTube channel and you hit their playlist, liked videos, there's my face, right? Uh, they don't like a lot of videos. They've done that before, and that gave me a lot of exposure, which was really nice of them. But the Twitter, the Twitter thing um, did, not, did not do much. It didn't do much for the video, uh, and it didn't do much for views or I should say subscribers and views and or watch time. And I was hoping people would share it. And But nobody got this chance to see it. But a lot of you really helped out and uh, re uh, retweeted it. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people here that did that. You know, like Eric and Nancy, Rebecca. And if I'm missing anybody, I apologize. What's on my t-shirt? This is going to be a hard day's night. The Beatles. Eric, I know what they sent him. If you truly do know, Eric, don't say. And Rebecca's saying, how do you know, Eric? Um, maybe, maybe somebody else got the box, is that why? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it, they are sending me a box or if they're sending a bunch of YouTubers boxes. It's kind of unclear. Um, Philly Candleman said that he got um, a response from Yankee Candle recently, which is fantastic. Uh, huge thumbs up to Brett. But um, I don't know if if they're sending mass gifts out, packages out, or if they're sending me something specifically wait Eric you said yes for what they, some, it's, they sent the box to somebody else is that what you're saying because I would love love to know because it's snowing here I'm afraid of anything getting ruined in this bad weather Who did they send it to, Eric, if, if, I, if I can ask? So I can maybe take a look if I'm interested. Da, da, da. Wait for that answer. I was thinking what Brett got. What did Brett get? Well, I don't, I'll, I'll check. I'll check that out later. All right, so 
something I'm going to be putting up on eBay. Uh, something very interesting. I am going to start it at 99 cents. This is not Yankee Candle. This is not Kringle Candle. This is outside the box. Uh, why do I have the item that I'm about to share, uh, share with you? Well, this is something that's going to be included in uh, the February subscription box, which is going out if you're, you're waiting for your subscription box. It's, it's actually going to be sent tomorrow morning. It will be coming. But, and if you don't want to know what this is, if you want to be surprised with your sus subscription box, close your ears or just come back in a couple minutes. But I have this candle right here called Cashmere. This is going to be by Henry Bendel out of New York. Uh, that wasn't a name that I was familiar with. The reason why I thought it was so interesting, well, first of all, the packaging is gorgeous, is that this is sold by uh, Victoria's Secret. Uh, and, you know, just the idea of, like, Victoria's Secret candle, you know, in my head I was kind of laughing, but at the same time I was really curious. Um, and with the fact that Yankee Candle, this year, we had Warm Luxe Cashmere in the U.S. and we had Warm Cashmere in the U.K., wanted to see how this one would compare. Um, and... So I got my hands on several of them. They're going out in the subscription box. This one I'm going to put up on eBay, but I want to give you guys a look at it uh, before. So we have this. How many ounces do we have here? It looks like, you know, it almost looks exactly the same size as um, 9.4 ounces as the the, the, the small tumblers that came out of the spring previews frosted glass uh definitely uh, a very soft wax so soft that i'm not going to touch it because i will leave a big massive imprint but that also means it's going to really uh, uh be intense with a little bit of flame a little bit of heat and Honestly, I I, I kind of I'll admit I bought it without without uh, uh, smelling it. I was going just based based on the fragrance notes of this, and uh, man, is this it, it's really good. It's really good. It's it, it, what's what's what, what I enjoy about it is that um, it, it's 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 feminine, right? Because you know, of course, we're thinking. Victoria's Secret, it's feminine, it smells feminine, but it's something that I think both men and women are going to enjoy. So if it's, you know, I'm looking for a candle for the bedroom that boyfriend, husband is going to enjoy, fantastic. Or uh, if you have, you know, I would bring this in my bedroom for sure. Big, big uh, woody base notes. Let's see what the fragrance notes are on here. That's in French. I can't read that. Um, so they're going to say, uh, slip into something a little bit more comfortable. With the cozy scent of cashmere, wrap your room in the soft, luxurious scent of cedarwood. Absolutely. Blended with burst of violet and lily of the valley. Definitely. There's a whole lot more going on here, though whole lot more going on because uh, as the the title suggests there is a laundered linen component to this and very soft very soft flowers nothing pungent nothing pungent and that was the note that i was thinking of it's not on here but tonka bean tonka bean is one of those like it's sort of smells like vanilla but it's like taken to the you know um I'm trying to think of a, a math term, and I don't know what it is. It's exponentially. Is that a good math term? It's exponentially more vanilla uh, than actual vanilla bean. And um, really, so we're looking at something that's really just base notes and mid notes. Because we're having an absence of any kind of citrus in here. I'm glad I bought this. 
Uh, I'm keeping one for myself, but I will be putting this one up, up on eBay if every, anyone is interested. I did want to promote it a little bit because I thought you guys might be like, what the heck is this Victoria's Secret candle? But uh, these uh, retailed for $30. Uh, just to, to give you a heads up right there, $30. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if, if anyone's a fan. Sounds good to you. I'll list everything that says on the box, on the, the eBay page. If you want it, take it. It's in perfect condition. And for you subscri uh, subscription box people, you will be getting that for Valentine's Day. What better thing to get for Valentine's Day, Victoria's Secret Candle. Still have to put out a video uh, comparing these two, uh, Warm Lux Cashmere and Warm Cashmere, completely different. I'm just so overwhelmed, like, just, I have so, a, a huge pile of projects to do that things, like, a little fun projects like this are so far in the distance, uh, because in the near future, we're going to be doing a lot of small production candle companies. And when I say small, I don't mean like out of the garage small. I'm talking about not like the mammoths, not like village candle, not like, like Yankee candle or Pringle candle, uh, more of the handcrafted, uh, like Witch City Wicks style, um, small production candle companies. Uh, I think I've told you several of them. We're going to be highlighting uh, Spire Side Candle. We're going to be doing Cottage Wicks. We will be doing many Witch City Wicks candles. Uh, 1803 will be in the future. This is a big one, uh, but Root Candle we'll be talking about. I ha found an awesome find. The company doesn't even exist anymore, uh, but it's Sleepy Hollow Candle out of Massachusetts. And if by chance they are still around, I apologize, but they don't have a website or anything online that I could find, but I have several of their candles and they're really interesting. Um, so, and then Scent, Scent Pop Candle Company, I wanna work with them again, and then Find and Refine. So we have a lot of smaller handcraft candle companies that we're gonna get to, and hopefully that'll give us just enough time uh, until we start talking about Yankee Candle, uh, like Easter and summer. Oh, and Werther and Gray. Okay, so uh, I heard that, Eric, you purchased Witch Hunt. That's great. Uh, Werther and Gray is... They've really expanded. They've, they were really just literary candles inspired by literature when they first started. And they've expanded. They have different collections. I, I think, Eric, you said you bought uh, the Film Noir candle, um, which is super awesome. I have reached out to them. Um, and I don't think I really had any luck. But that doesn't mean I won't, I, I won't stop. I, I, I know, they're, you know these small companies are very busy and emails can get lost like that. But I do wanna see if we can collaborate with Werther and Gray because they're another major player in the craft candle. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, folks. Hope that wasn't a problem. Yes, uh, Film Noir, I, I'm a huge Raymond Chandler fan. Uh, I love um, the early, early Pulp Fiction, uh, novels, novellas, uh, episodes from, um, uh, the 30s and 40s. Raymond Chandler, Dashiell Hammett, um, his name is eluding me at the moment. J is it James Cain who wrote The Postman Always Knocks Twice? I love, uh, that's like my favorite kind of literature, um, uh, or fiction. And Nancy, yes, yeah, since I showed you those Spireside candles, I have like four more. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, this, this is big. I really want to explore with, I think I have a total of eight Spireside candles. They're all of their popular ones. 
and uh, I'm going to break them down one by one, all separate videos, all be posted relatively at the same time, though. And then, um, and, um, you know, huge, huge thanks and shout out to Spireside. Uh, Carol is leaving, it looks like, so bye-bye, Carol. Thank you for joining us. Did you guys get the email about the... They've been sending out the email for about two weeks now. The Wow, the reception is really bad, isn't it? The, the quality of the video. Uh, Beast Castle. They just released Beast Castle, which is... I didn't even need to know what it smelled like. I just, I, I bought it. I literally got the email. I didn't, I, I didn't even reach out to Spireside. I just, I just put in the order. And uh, we're going to talk about all of them. And I have to say, I smelled all of them. And I'm really, really impressed. Which is good. Like, imp you know, it's, it's one thing. It's like, oh, they're good. So, you know, I, I, I'll support them. But when you get something that's really good and you know that you can back them 120%, it's always much more fun. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Um, uh, M Mort. Can I just call you Mort? It's sad because doesn't Mort mean dead? I don't want to call you dead. Um, Seer Trudon? Uh, have you ever tried their candles? I don't, I don't believe so. That, um, is, would that be like a perfume candle? Something that would be sold in like a department store? Leslie! Leslie is in the house. What else do I have to show? Okay, uh, one more thing. I'm going to repeat this real quick. Giveaway. It's in the title. This is a Valentine's Day uh, Yankee Candle tri-layered. It's got buttercream. It's got red velvet cake. It's got, what does it have? It has chocolate layer cake on the bottom. It's going to be a soy wax blend. Brand new. It's never been lit. And uh, it is also 10 ounces. All you have to do to uh, participate in this giveaway is find a friend. It's from the outlet. I do have to say that. Find a friend, find a family member, uh, someone who would be interested in the candle enthusiast. So I don't want, we don't want people subscribing to the candle enthusiasts that are not into candles. Find somebody who is. Have them subscribe to the main channel, not this channel, and then have them comment in my latest video. It's that five minute video where I'm at the, the, uh, the South Deerfield Village. Uh, comment and say, uh, I just subscribed and so-and-so sent me. This way I'll know that you had somebody come along. Hopefully this will help give us a little boost of subscribers because whenever there's a boost of subscribers, uh, YouTube puts, puts uh, the, you know, a uh, channel's videos at higher priority, which is good. It's easier for people to find us. Uh, let's see. Leslie is sitting in a line at the supermarket. Chris Manders is actually asking, what do I think of dreamy summer nights? Uh, Chris, that was my, my favorite pick of 2015 for Yankee Candle. Uh, dreamy summer nights. And a lot of you folks know this. I'm not a like die hard, hard hardcore fan of Game of Thrones, but I really, really like Game of Thrones, and that is my go-to fragrance when I'm watching Game of Thrones. Dreamy summer nights, it is awesome. I love it, and the fact that they didn't retire it and it's still around, I'm 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 thrilled. I'm thrilled. All right, Leslie. I mean, if you gotta head out. That's good. I hope you're having fun. I hope because you're at the grocery store, you're buying a bunch of goodies for the football game. And Mort says, hmm, I might send you one. 
Hmm. Uh, which brings up a good point. If you ever want me, send me something to open up on screen, awesome. I promise. I'll open it up on screen as long as it's family friendly, right? But sometimes I get packages and I don't know if you want me to open them up on screen or not. You know, sometimes they're private. Sometimes, you know, it's like a, um, a card or something that, you know, is just between us uh, and our YouTube uh, relationship that we've got going on. So um, I think what I've come up with is just right on the box, T-C-E, T-C-E, the candle enthusiast. That way I'll know that you want me to open it on live, a live video. I will open it up and share it with everybody. But if you don't put that TCE, I'm gonna open it uh, off camera and then maybe share it at a later time. Have you managed to get to, to any Ollie's to check out some of those cheap UK fragrances? Ollie's, Ollie's. I keep hearing this word uh, Ollie's. This name. I don't know what Ollie's is. Is this is this a retailer that carries Yankee Candle, Kringle candles? That's what it sounds like. This is going to be Valentine's Trio. That's the name of the candle. Valentine's Trio, buttercream, red velvet, and chocolate layer cake. Uh, yeah, I don't, uh, Nicole says she doesn't have an Ollie's. I don't have an Ollie's. They, they got in a bunch of UK fragrances. Worth ducking in and taking a drive uh, during your travels. Yeah, I'll check that out. Um, I'm... I'm, 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 I'm happy. I'm kind of on top of everything. I didn't get Color Me Happy. I, I just don't think it's important. Um, my review that I already posted on it, I think is sufficient. And the UK fragrances um, were all US releases this year. And then UK fragrances that are coming out later on, uh, I already starting to check them off my list. All right. What else? No, 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 no. Okay. I lost you guys. All right. There we go. Got you back. Ollie's is like a Kmart mix with Big Lots. It's a store of complete random stuff, but they have had some good UK candle slash candles lately for eight ninety nine. Well, that's cool. Uh, one thing I did do yesterday, and it was completely on my cell phone, and it was completely spontaneous, but I filmed... Uh, I went to Kohl's. I went to Kohl's to see, because I never go to Kohl's, and I know that they had peaches and cream there, so I did want to see if they had uh, the Color Me Happy, because I was just going to get it. I was in the area, but I noticed that they had, you know, Woodwick candles, too, and Sonoma candles. Now, I'm not familiar. What is your guys' take on son these Sonoma candles? Huge thumbs up to everyone who gives a thumbs up. Thank you for bringing that up, Eric. Or cherry pie. Uh, so what I did, um, what I did with the Sonoma candles, I, they had like a whole flight, a whole lineup of these three wick tumblers. And I just did off the cuff review i'm probably gonna end up posting it on this channel because it's not a high quality video and you know it's uh it's really just me with the cell phone like laying on top of the shelf but uh i thought for the price point they were pretty interesting uh very 
uh, they're not very complex. Like they're one, they're they're like a two to two three note candles. Uh, nothing too extreme. But they did have one that I really liked. It was the teak teakwood vanilla, and for the price on that one, if it burned well, that was definitely a, 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 a would have been a bargain. I didn't buy any. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll edit that together maybe tonight and I'll post it on this channel. Um, we got to get ten thousand views on this channel before I could start monetizing the videos. Monetizing the videos just means that we get to put up ads, and this way there's some money trickling in at the end of the month. Trust me, it's not a lot, um, but. Um, I want to get I want to get to that ten thousand as fast as we can because that'll also allow us to do super chat as well. So you guys, it looks like everyone is pretty happy with the snow mechanics. I will I'll, I'll do that. I'll throw it together. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to have like music and the, and it's not going to have you know sound design and all that jazz. But I'll be happy to post it. All right, I want to make sure that I talked about everything. Did I talk about everything? Live Yankee Candle Relics. 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 If anyone missed it, Shamrock. Shamrock, come on. Come on. This is, this is only like, you know, several years older than I am. It's, it's awesome. So that's going to be our St. Patrick's Day. Uh, one of our St. Patrick's Day uh, evaluation. Uh, we showed you the rarity of Kringle Candle, which is the Wolfsbane, again, up on eBay. And we talked about the Henry Bendel uh, New York Victoria's Secret Cashmere Candle. Uh, I'm not kidding. I, I really do enjoy it. Um, I have an extra. I am keeping one for myself. I hope it does go to someone who wants it. Hope they get it before Valentine's Day, has a chance to burn it. Hope you guys get it for a good price. But it will go up on eBay shortly after this video is officially uploaded. That's great. Nancy says, I always have to watch the videos again and take notes before I post my comments so I don't forget. Interesting point. Interesting point, Nancy. And something I want to ask you guys. Um, you know, this, uh, this, is the, this is the kind of things that go, go on in the mind of, if you're not a YouTuber yourself or a vlogger, whatever you want to call it. Some of the things that, you know, I, now that I've been doing this for a year and a half, not a long time starting to get the gist of how things work and um you know i do my candle evaluations and you know i do my other things too you know our travels uh, i call them aromatic travels sometimes they're really not have really nothing to do with aromatics they're really more about nostalgia and then we have the in-betweens which is another completely different series where it's 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 more of being with me, the experience of what I'm doing uh, and what I'm going through to make these specials, like Santa's Village, right? My whole, you know, the whole journey for me to get to Santa's Village and then get out of New Hampshire, for me, was a whole journey on its own. So that's it's kind of what the in-betweens has become. But what I notice is when I post videos that, like Santa's Village, and especially like an in-betweens or a live video like this that's run on for 110 minutes now, we lose a lot of subscribers. So I'm really trying to figure out if I should leave the Candle Enthusiast channel just for evaluations, move all of the in-depth videos, move all the aromatic adventures to a secondary channel like this one and keep them separated. And then hopefully both audiences will eventually find each other. Um, but it's just been this, this uphill battle of producing this content uh, 
you know, it, you know, the videos are getting good responses, but at the same time, I'm losing a lot of subscribers. That's that's, that's not good because it, it, we need momentum. We need momentum to grow. Uh, we need to see this uh, circle of enthusiasts get bigger for this machine to function. So, um, if you guys have any input on that, if you think that that's a good idea. Let me know in the comments. I'm still really trying to figure it out for myself. So let me read Anne's comment. Some people are looking for candle reviews and when something else comes along that is not what they want, I would keep one place for reviews and put the rest in another. Yes, so that's always been, always from day one has been the challenge right it's because I wanted to do vlogs but how am I gonna get people to watch my vlogs I'm like well I have to do candle evaluations so I'm doing candle evaluations and the candle evaluations are really what uh, uh, got the attention um, so I, I you know I stayed on one channel for a long time but I think we might be getting to a point where we really do have to divide the two the two projects Rachel says, that's ridiculous, those videos are awesome. It's, I, I, that means so much to me. That means so much to me. Bottom of my heart, that means so much to me. But if nobody's watching them, it's, it's pointless, right? You know, I'm, you know, those, you know, you guys are contributing money now. You're contributing money and I'm using your money as the budget to, pro to produce these videos. And if no one's watching them, no one's seeing them, um, again, it's, this is not gonna be a well-oiled machine. Uh, the money will be spent. There will be no money to do more videos. So we want to make sure that we're getting uh, a, a broader audience than just folks from uh, the candle uh, candle community on YouTube. So, um, like the like the the Lizzie Borden, for example, big spike in subscribers after Lizzie Borden, but it had nothing to do with candles. Um, and you know, those people wanted more of the Lizzie Borden kind of stuff and I didn't deliver. So it became a problem, so, you know, so subscribers, they come, they go. And then I just did kind of like a re-edit. Someone just bidded on Witch's Cauldron. Um, I did a re-edit of some old videos and I posted it just a few days ago. Um, and within two hours, that video had more views than the original videos did. And they'd been posted for almost two years. So you see what I'm saying, right? Like those old videos uh, just uh, haven't been, been seen. So I'm gonna, I might be doing some of that too, going back and not just reposting them, but cutting them up a little bit differently uh hopefully they're ones that a lot of you haven't seen but i urge you to go back and watch some of the older stuff even though um uh the quality in some cases is pretty bad yeah so so here, here's some good news and i, I don't want to be rambling on and on um uh, about the vlogging situation nancy says some people actually have separate vlog channels and uh uh my 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 inspiration f f for youtubing um easy no no question about it um uh was adam the woo adam the woo uh god bless him um he he started out his main channel where he was mainly documenting filming locations um, like for, for, for movies. Like he would go and visit filming locations, very special locations. And he got to the point where it's like, it's just so much work to create these like documentaries, post them when he could actually do a daily vlog. And he was getting just as much views on those videos, only he was posting them every day. And the audience realized that, okay, they're not highly edited, they're not perfect. 
um, and I'm just when, when it, for me it's it's hard to, to to not edit something it's hard to edit something and have it look bad I can't do it I just it, it hurts whether it be color correction whether it be sound uh, I it's it's not it's not being a perfectionist it's just I can't I can't stand it I want I want the videos to be good uh, and not poor and I want them to have rewatchability so I'm gonna have to find a compromise but the reason why I'm bringing this up is because guess who I had a chance to talk to two days ago two days ago and again if you guys don't know who he is you probably don't care I spoke with Adam the Woo over the phone. How cool is that? Um, this guy has uh, been a huge inspiration for me. There's no question um, if he was never on YouTube, I would not be here on YouTube. And I uh, had, had a chance to have a very nice conversation with him. And uh, really, really, uh, you know, sometimes you need that, that, that you know, that that mentor pep talk to give you that that you know a little bit more of that flame um, uh, uh, in your motivation and a little pep in your step I don't know what the heck I'm talking about but you know what I mean because as soon as I got done talking to him I'm like all right I know what I gotta do I know what I gotta do Rachel you're your own worst critic everyone is yes it's just I, uh, I, I want, it's just desperate need uh, for things to be good. I just want them to be good. And you'll, you know, any artist will understand this. If you're, if you, if you're an artistic person, you consider yourself an artist, it's, it's the pursuit of perfection, knowing that you never will reach perfection. Um, but if you're not trying to be perfect, there's no satisfaction so it's if you if, you know it's 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 this weird it's this weird thing where if i knew i was just making garbage i, I wouldn't be happy i have to try as hard as i can and um and uh so that that's the story there but um i really like the in-betweens and i i think someone just bit on the witch's cauldron Oh man, you guys are going after that one. Um, I love the in-betweens. I think the in-betweens is exactly, it's kind of like a, a, a perfect, a perfect um, halfway point between being like a regular vlog, but still having moments where things can slow down, um, be quiet, have some music, um, and... Uh, and, uh, you know, not, not, not just be like, cut, 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 and it's done in five minutes. No, to really fully absorb yourself into the experience, make it feel like a vicarious experience that you're sitting along with me while I'm traveling, and, um, and to really sink your teeth into it. A vicarious experience is really what I'm going for. So those in-betweens is really, is really, even though it's kind of like, the the last thing I ever put up. I only have five episodes. That's kind of what, what I want to do the most. And then like once a month having one that's a little bit more intense as far as more research, uh, uh, something like uh, Norman Rockwell Museum, you know, uh, other museums, other hotels, or going to someplace very specific or taking a topic and focusing on that. You guys know I'm working on a, a Lucille Ball, Jackie Gleason, and a Pocahontas video. That's what uh, is, 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 uh, is uh, in the works for the spring. Someone just bought, somebody just bought Wolf Spain. Congratulations on eBay. Um, but at the same time, I got to keep up with these candle evaluations. Um, the, the, the mission of the vlog has always been about highlighting and spreading awareness, not to just Yankee Candle, but Aroma and smaller candle companies. I want, I want to change the candle industry. If I haven't said that before, I'm saying it now. The whole, whole reason why I'm here is to 
hopefully change the way people look, their outlook on the candle industry. It's not about making your house smell pretty. It's about art. It's about experiencing aroma in ways that is much more fun than just being pretty. Now I'm really, really rambling. And it's four o'clock. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are gonna start dipping into that Super Bowl soon. What did you guys think of the last in-betweens? Those of you who saw it, and if you haven't seen it, um, it's on the main channel. Make, make sure, if, you, if you're ever bored, go check it out and watch it, leave, leave a comment and um let me know what you think of it and don't 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 like sugarcoat it i want like constructive criticism um because people say things like uh, oh god you're funny and i'm like well, I mean, i'm funny i mean this is this is me i mean yeah at times i'm trying to be silly and trying to be entertaining but um you know it's to me it's uh it's, it's hard for me not to have anybody to say, no, that was good, but that wasn't. Chainsaw Place was creepy. I was a little creeped out when I went there. I was a little creeped out, especially because I walked in to the facility and there was nobody. And everything was just spread out. I wanted to film everything in there. And, uh, okay, Jackie's got to run, everyone, getting ready to make some Chex Mix. Fantastic. Have a great evening, Jackie. Um, and um, as far as the in-betweens, episode six, I know I promised this week. I didn't promise, but I said I was going to get to it this week. Um, I will get to it um, soon. I do have to film the reason why I have the black backdrop and the fog machine. I'm going to get a nice gothic creepy looking christmas tree right here and start reviewing some witch city wix candles uh, i gotta film that material first and then um we'll get to a new in-betweens um uh i agree gabe gabe kringle he says kringle candle makes great sense i think we're gonna end it there but let me let me just repeat a few things uh whether you missed it or um, if I wasn't clear, uh, we, we showed that. We don't need to do that again. We're doing a giveaway. Giveaway. This is what's... We're going to be doing other giveaways. I'm going to make the giveaways bigger, more surprising. Um, won't always be Yankee Candle. And... Um, but... What you what you were gonna do? We have Valentine's Day candle here. Valentine's Day. If you don't celebrate Valentine's Day, what a better reason to get a treat that you can uh, indulge in uh, for your for yourself uh, for Valentine's Day. I don't have a, val a Valentine this year. I got I got Elsa, my dog, but I don't have a Valentine. So uh, maybe I'll be burning one of these because I have one too. Um, so what you got to do? is find a friend, find a family member, find anyone, somebody at work. Have them subscribe to The Candle Enthusiast, not this channel, The Candle Enthusiast, and then have them comment on my last video when I was at South Deerfield saying, I just subscribed and so-and-so, the so-and-so means you, so-and-so just sent me. And like I said, that spike in subscribers hopefully will help... Uh, get the future some of my future videos that i'm going to post a little bit more attention and then someone's going to win this uh, i'm just simply going to do a complete lottery system it's the way uh it's always worked out for for me um so uh please do that if you have any questions come back in about 45 minutes this video will be fully uploaded and you can leave the comments there and if you have noticed i've been back in the comment section a little bit I'm trying really hard to stay in the comment section and keep on top of the comments uh but i dropped the ball a little bit on um uh th this week but i'm i'm trying to so ask questions i will get back to you i will answer as many questions as i can everyone have a very happy fun safe don't do anything stupid uh super bowl sunday have plenty of good food to eat 
uh, check out Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash the Candle Enthusiast and the official uh, Candle Enthusiast eBay page. Watch some of my latest videos on the main page as well if you haven't checked them out. And uh, if you haven't already, why haven't you? Rachel's uh, Facebook group. Uh, it's called simply go to Facebook, the Candle Enthusiast uh, fan page, and you'll see it. You request to join. Uh, I, maybe the new admins will ask you a few questions, and then you can become a part of this community, this bubble of candle enthusiasts. And what I love about the Facebook group is it's, it's not about me. <laughs> it's not about me. It's, it's really a community with just kind of me in the background serving as kind of like a, a symbol of what this community is and having this live gives us a place and a time to hang out and chat every so often and to enjoy. I just got a phone call hung up. Thanks for watching guys. I will be seeing you soon. So be good. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, make sure you look out for spontaneous lives because they're going to be coming up this week. I promise you. Hit that thumbs up button. Bye bye guys. Thanks for joining.